Hello everyone, I'm going to go over the pitch rubric that we're going to be using in a few weeks to evaluate your uh, pitches. So you want to follow the format given here in the rubric and just kind of go in order um, as you create your slide deck. Make sure you just kind of follow through each um, line, make sure that you have everything. I'm going to walk you through uh, one from last year. I, every year I change my rubric a little bit, so it might not be exactly the same order as what I'm showing you, but you'll kind of get the idea as I walk you through it. All right, so last year, um, one of the um, solid teams that we had on pitch night was Clasp & Co. And you heard me talk about this group throughout the year. Um, so you could notice on their slide deck, they have a um, kind of a uniform uh, feel and look to their slides. And so that is part of the evaluation is that um, it looks professional, it looks good, it makes sense and goes along with your branding. So you can see they have their brand here. Um, and so then they start off by introducing the team. So you're going to introduce yourselves um, when you do your Zoom virtual pitch with me. Um, and you have the uh, pictures there on your slide deck. And then you're going to work your way um, in describing the problem. So now is your elevator pitch, your problem, and then your um, solution and your, um, your customer. Um, and then your your competition. So it's a little, the order is a little bit different here. Um, and they talk about their competition. Um, and then the unique value proposition. Um, they made bullet points, but you could also put your positioning statement. And they also did that too. So there's a positioning statement. Um, and you want to kind of name that because I think the judges really like that. They like the uniformity of kind of listening to the presentations and following the flow. All right, so that's the elevator pitch. You've done that so many times now. I don't think um, there's nothing major to change during that piece. All right, so then we're going to get into the um, investment highlights. And this is where we have to do um, a little work between now and three weeks. But we do have um, a lot of the stuff in place. So remember this um, slide that you did? You had the TAM and the SAM, the total addressable market and the serviceable addressable market. So you kind of did all that here so the the tam sam and then the potential market share that you would have so the tams up here that's the big number total addressable market the serviceable addressable market and then the market share that you hope uh, on getting and this is important this number um, is going to play out in your financials so we want to make sure that we um, come up with a number there that that makes sense all right, so then um, what you're going to do is you're going to get into um, your MVP. And so you're doing, most of you guys are doing a smoke test MVP. This is where you're going to talk about what you did and how you, um, um, you know, collected data and how did your smoke test MVP go. Um, so you're, it's going to look a little different here from group to group, but you got to describe um, the results of your MVP, demonstrate the scale of your MVP. And what do I mean by the scale of your MVP is like how broad and how, how, how big of a fish net did you put out? Did you go and test three people or did you go out and test 20 people? Did you get responses from 50 people? Did you get responses from six people? So obviously part of your smoke test MVP is to push as hard as you can to get as much information as you can. And I know a couple of groups were already rocking and rolling before um, school was interrupted. So you guys are kind of are going to be a little bit stronger um, in this area, but um, you also were kind of moving forward. And so other groups have kind of stalled here. Um, now's the time to really make up the ground in the next couple of weeks and really be creative about how you get people to fill out your surveys, how do you uh, collect emails and all that kind of stuff. So the more information you could get here, um, the better. All right, so there's your MVP um, stuff. And then, and then what you're going to talk about um, is you're going to then get into your financial model. Okay, so your financial model, um, remember we have to come up with um, our revenue growth um, over time and so what we anticipate on selling. So here on this one, um, what they have here is they have the, um, the gross margin um, for every unit that they sell. So um, as they come up with that, that dollar amount, um, then they're also going to have a marketing plan in there. So how are they going to market out? Um, and so we, we this this presentation, let's see, um, they kind of skipped over that piece a little bit. So you guys did put together a marketing plan, um, how you're going to reach your customer, so how you get, keep, and grow. 
So, so really that marketing plan, I'm going to go to the, the directions here and I'm just going to put um, marketing. Can I put a parenthesis in parentheses? I might, I might as well. You guys will know what, what I mean there. So how are you going to get your customers? How are you going to keep your customers? And then how you're going to grow. And we, we already, you guys already did that work. So make sure that when you come up with how you're going to market your, your business out, um, and then in, in particular, how you're going to get, keep and grow your customer base. Um, and then, and then that will translate into the, um, the, the, the sales, uh, plan that you come up with and, and how your sales going to then grow. So, so that's important that once you kind of get units sold, then you're going to work your way to the, um, the business model. So, um, I'm sorry, your financial model. So in your financial model, I'm going to give you a lesson um, uh, this week on that. I'm going to walk you through this again. I already walked you through it in class, but it's it's been a couple months, and I know a lot of you guys uh, didn't get around to a complete financial model, so we're going to kind of refresh you there. Um, so the financial projections, remember, come from your three cost areas. So you're going to have your startup cost slide. You're going to have your SG&A slide. And then you're going to have your, um, um, what's the one I'm looking for here? Startup, SGNA, and doo -doo -doo, your gross margin, uh, your cost of goods sold slide. So um, this one's a little bit out of order. So cost, startup cost, uh, SGNA, and then cost of goods sold. And you need those three numbers then um, to, to dump into your financial model here. All right, so we'll get more on that later. All right, so after the investing highlights, you're then going to go to um, required capital. So how much money you need, and that will come from a later video. Um, and, and remember, you got to cover your negative uh, months in the beginning. So that's the, the the capital that you're you're looking for. And then are you are you going to raise that money yourself, or do you need investors help to do that? Um, and then at the very end, you're gonna you're gonna get kind of your financing um, piece there. And and so. That financial piece will come in that finance video that I'm going to prepare for you. So it's important that you kind of go through. And what I'll do at the bottom of this, uh, of the rubric, I'm going to add just kind of the slides um, in order and how you should kind of lay them out in your presentation. Then your overall score is um, overall team score, saying within 10 minutes, you answered the questions professionally and thoughtfully from the judges. The presentation was credible. You had visual elements, and and then and then the tiebreakers, if there's ever a tie, um, which was really close last year, is uh, could this business succeed? So do, does is the are the judges confident that your business can succeed? All right, so that's what we have for the rubric. What you should have in your slide deck. Um, so right now the focus is. Um, I need I need your websites. A lot of you guys still haven't sent me your websites with your demo embedded in there. So you need to do that. And then you're moving on into your MVP process. And while you're doing that, you could start piecing together your final pitch decks, your slide deck for your final pitch. Um, and then we should be fine from there. Okay. Um, and then, then, then it's just time to kind of practice it out, practice it out. And then we'll start setting up times. Um, and that was in the kind of schedule that I gave you today. Um, at the beginning of the day. All right, shoot me any emails if you have any questions, um, and good luck with all this. Thank you.